What's up team? This is Coach Abraham with Armor Strength and Conditioning. Checking in with another video. Today's topic is going to be about the female footballer and speed. So we're going to go over on how you can track your speed and also what the elite female footballers are getting as far as their 10 meter dash, 20 meter dash, and 30 meter dash. This is going to be good in case you're an up and coming female footballer or if you're a parent or if you're a coach and you have uh, a female footballer, you can say, hey, this is kind of where she needs to be to be up there at the elite level. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. First things first, how important is speed for the female footballer? This is going to be the same for a male athlete as well for that male footballer. And a quick message to my male footballers, if you want data as well like this, if you want it in an IG post and in a video, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below and I'll bring one out. So what we do know about speed and the importance of it is that over the past two decades, linear speed has proved to be a differentiating factor between playing levels, starting status, and age group, and international level, and female football players. Okay, so real quick, guys, all this information is already up on my Instagram. I decided, hey, you know what? I already put it on my IG. Maybe I'll make a video, and this is what I'm doing right now. Tell me, do you guys like this? Do you guys kind of want me to go not just over uh, in text? And pictures but now kind of giving y'all a little bit more in depth through video I feel like I can reach a lot more individuals this way as not everybody has an Instagram and the awesome thing about videos is that you can just sit back relax and watch a video and get educated on this and then you can go apply that data or the research onto your training and also the information that I am getting here is obviously all research based the person that put me on to this is Brian Doyle. Doyle. He is a research and evaluation officer at Sport Ireland. He had a whole article about this. I'm going to link that. I want to make sure I give credit where it's due. He kind of put everything together and this is the reason I'm here talking to you guys. So going back to speed. Linear speed has been shown to influence the outcome of games due to having a direct impact upon goal scoring opportunities and has been shown to be the most utilized movement prior to scoring goals. Like I have said in plenty of other videos, linear sprinting is the number one action right before scoring goals. If you are a fast individual going down the flank, you will have a big advantage. But remember, speed isn't everything, but it is very big at the elite level because all these players have a very similar skill set, right? And the ones that have the speed will stand out and will give them a huge boost in their game. So let's break down the data. You are seeing it right here on the screen of many studies and the times that they have gotten. For example, we have Ireland, the WSL, Brazil, South Africa, Germany, Bosnia, Japan, Montenegro, Norway, and so on. So there's so much data that you can compare to. And a big thing you need to understand if you ever wanna look at this research yourself, which I will have linked down below, you wanna see how they perform the study. As far as did they begin at a two point stance, maybe a half new position, did they start five meters behind, or 0.5 meters behind, for example, in this top one by, by Doyle, and I hope I'm not butchering his name up every time, participants started 0.5 meters behind the initial timing gates in a two-point split stance and were instructed to start when ready and run maximally to a marker placed two meters beyond the 30 meter timing gate. Okay, so again, that's super important. You gotta understand how are they conducting their speed test. And like I mentioned, you can skip if you want to on how to perform the test yourself. I'm also gonna put right here on the screen a bunch of other research that um, I did look at myself. Most of the studies are done in meters, but I was able to find American college players that used yards in their data. So again, guys, we know that speed is important and senior level American, Norwegian international players and Australian talent identification project support that high level players to be faster than lower division and less talented players. And look, yes, these higher level division one female footballers are more skillful they have a higher iq more experience uh technicality right etc but also their physical attributes their speed the research is showing us they are faster as well right if you are a young baller listening to this you know if i was in your shoes i'm thinking to myself man i want to maximize everything i want to unlock my potential i gotta make sure if i want to be at the top level and hang with these big ballers I want to maximize all my attributes, not just my game, but also my speed. And again, this is why speed is important. I think it's also super important. Let the data be inspiration. 
you never want to compare yourself to other players but in my opinion whenever I was playing and I've heard Matt Sheldon actually talk about this as well you can look at other players for inspiration see why they're so good kind of what can you learn from them what can you take from them and this is the same thing I want you to look here you may not be as fast as these players yet but let that be okay hey this is a goal I want to attain I at least want to be within this range and a big thing Guys, I don't want to hear any complaining about, oh, but genetics is such a big factor, and obviously. But that shouldn't stop you from unlocking your full potential and maximizing your speed, okay? That's just making excuses for us not to put in that work. So, a clarification as well. Speed isn't everything. If not, Usain Bolt would be the best footballer, which is, you know, there's no argument there that uh, speed is the only thing that is needed. So, I really hope this sheds some light into the female footballer. If you guys want to see for the male elite footballer, let me know down below and I'll make sure to provide that data for you guys. In the meantime, use what I have uh, provided today. Maybe you can carry some uh, inspiration from that. Okay, my peeps, this is how we test and track our speed over time. Remember, you want to ensure you are getting faster. I typically recommend if you are training consistently two to three times a week, you want to test between six to eight weeks. If you are only training one to week speed, maybe you want to do it every two to three months. Anyways, you're going to set a marker at the zero mark and a marker on the 20 meter mark. You could also do 30 meters. I like to use a camera and the starting position we will take is a two point stance 0.5 meters behind the initial starting point, just like in the research. That way we'll have something to compare it to. Then I will use my video editing software, which is Final Cut. I will have a timer like you see on the screen. You start the timer as soon as they cross the zero meter mark. And as soon as their foot or their knee passes that cone, that timing gate, the 20 meter mark, that is when I stop my timer and I'll have my time. I would recommend to also get maybe your five meter and your 10 meter mark while you're at it. The shorter distance, five and 10 meters, that's gonna be able to tell you more of your acceleration ability. And guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more high quality content. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Uh, if you are a college or pro player looking for a custom program built around your schedule, your equipment, and you're getting ready for that off season, hit me up, go to my Instagram, which is gonna be right here, and I'll make sure to get you right. I am currently working with college players already in the semi-pro level, and also some European footballers. So if this pertains to you, make sure you contact me and we'll work something out. My online programs are in sell 20% off for the next week. Make sure you pick up the full program so you can maximize your off-season. Use coupon code off-season. So yeah, guys, I got nothing left. Thank you for sticking around. Until next time. Open my book, rip it up with a pen, and open my mind and get at it again. I really do not know where to begin. My mind is always on my kin. My creativity on 10 was never raised with silver spoon, but my mental state make it bend. What do you mean I come again? Out of this world like fourth and men. So much more than mortal men. Shit is over, shit is thin. I'm in the